everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kathy, and this is More Than a Conqueror. We talk about real issues, give godly wisdom, and practical advice that's relevant to your daily life. On the panel today are single moms. And our question today is, how do you parent a child and have a strong character when the other parent doesn't share the same values? Deshaun. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a wonderful question, and it's so <laughs> difficult because it's so common. Um, as followers of Christ, there are very particular things that we want to instill in our children. Um, character traits that are uncommon in the world. Uh, a selflessness. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our world is consumed with greed, and so how do you do that when the other parent doesn't share the same values? Yeah. Um, it really is understanding the, um, the training up. The scripture that tells us train up a child in the way that he should go and when they're old they will not depart from it. It really is understanding what the training up aspect of it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then also trusting God. I know for myself, um, you know, one of the things as a single mother um, that's very important for me, especially raising children in today's culture where it's saturated with uh, um, just a freedom, a freedom of sex, mm -hmm. um, is purity, mm -hmm. godliness, whole, you know, just preserving yourself, valuing yourself enough to preserve yourself. Um, and my ex doesn't share, share that same value. Yeah. And um, he had, um, there was a point in time when he had a girlfriend who would spend the night at his house. And the children, you know, on the weekends when the kids were with him, and I tried to have a conversation with him, but he felt like it was um, his life and he can do, you know, what he wanted to. And honestly, I can't control his That's actions. Right. But I did sit down and had a real conversation with my children. And I explained to them why we believe what we believe. That we want to preserve ourselves for God and mm -hmm. we want to live a life that's pleasing to him. Mm -hmm. That he is our focus and he is the reason why we have what we have and why we are who we are. Mm -hmm. And we honor him through our bodies. And, you know, you show them through scripture. This is what God says and this is how we honor. And then also, you don't want to make the other parent look bad in, the, right. in the eyes Absolutely. of the children. And so, um, explaining to them that, you know, like your father, um, it doesn't make him a bad person. We're going to pray for him that God opens his eyes and softens his heart. Um, and it, you know, it teaches children, that, you know, like they learn not to be judgmental. I'm not going to judge because you believe differently than me, mm -hmm. um, but I am going to stand firm on my principles. And they, they're they growing and they're yeah. learning yeah. and, you know, um, keeping them rooted and grounded in the church is so important. Um, having them surrounded by other people who believe what they believe, mm -hmm. it's just as important for them as it is for us. That's our lifeline. Mm -hmm. Being connected to community, being connected to family, people who believe what we believe, who, who understand why we do what we do. And why we live how we live, it's all for Christ. Yeah. Um, it's important for us, so how much more important is it for our children? And when they're connected to community, when they're connected to the local church, it really um, shows them that they're not in this alone. Yeah. And so then they can go with their other parent. Um, and then you trust God. You trust that what he has shown you or what he has, um, the wisdom that he's given you that you've imparted into your children, that he is not going to let it fall to the wayside. Great. That he is allowing it to penetrate That's their great. hearts. And then you pray over your children constantly. Cover them in prayer every opportunity that you possibly That's can. Um, but yeah. All right. Thanks, John. Tracy? That's so good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally what I needed to hear because I was saying today that I am at the cusp of that with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Of like, she's a preteen and um, she asked me how old she needs to be before she date. Because where her father came from, um, when he met his now his wife, two weeks into their relationship, they moved in together. And so that's what my daughter thinks is normal. And we were just watching a show about the 50s, and this couple didn't, you know, obviously live together until they got married. And she was like, why don't they just move in together? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, because, you know, you know, I'm just starting to have to have that conversation. And it's so nice to hear somebody who's a little further in the journey talk about it. Um, because, you know, the main thing that I... Um, no, in my heart is that we have to be sewn into the church. Mm -hmm. So I decided right then, like we need to be in youth every mm -hmm. chance we get when she's mm -hmm. with me. She's with them half time, mm -hmm. and so um, I'm definitely going to take her there. Um, that's the biggest thing. And then explaining, like, what does it mean that your body is a temple? Because mm -hmm. um, even for myself, I just recently really understood it. You know, I've been really coming to church for a couple of years, and 
I realized, like, God's not mean. He doesn't, he's not like this ogre that doesn't want you to have a good time. He wants you to not have an STD. He wants you to not have a baby with a man that you don't want to be with. And so I think um, just getting thrown into the church is the answer for me. Yeah, absolutely. I want to touch upon what you said earlier about respecting the other parent because it's so important for our kids because when you say something bad about their parent, they start to feel like you're saying something bad about me. So I think the way you handle it was so nice. I know my daughter, um, we were talking one day, and, and I think she was about four years old at the time, and she said, I know that what my daddy's doing isn't right, but I love him anyway. Mm-hmm. And I just so I just hold on to that because I want her to love her dad. I don't want her to have animosity towards her because that's going to hurt her. She's going to have father wounds. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just so grateful that he's in her life and he um, he has ways to go, and I can keep praying for him as well. There's no reason to be bitter and anger and have these problems. So... That's all we have time for this episode. We hope you enjoyed this discussion. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.